The Last Passenger Olivia was on a train late at night. It was dark outside and the moon was high in the sky. She didn't want to take this train, but her meeting at work finished late. Now, she was going home on the last train. She sat alone in the train carriage. The seats were old and the lights were dim. Olivia looked at her phone, but there was no signal. She put it back in her bag and tried to relax. Suddenly, she heard footsteps. Olivia looked up and saw a man walking into her carriage. He was tall and wore a long black coat. She couldn't see his face clearly because he was wearing a hat. He sat down two rows behind her. Olivia felt a little nervous. Why did he sit so close when the train was almost empty? She turned to look out of the window again, but she couldn't stop thinking about the man. The train passed through a tunnel and everything went black. Olivia's heart began to beat faster. When they came out of the tunnel, she quickly looked back to check the man. But he wasn't there anymore. She felt a chill down her spine. Where did he go? She stood up and looked down the aisle. The man wasn't in his seat. In fact, he wasn't anywhere in the carriage. Suddenly, the lights flickered. Olivia heard a noise behind her. She turned around slowly, her hands shaking. The man was standing right behind her, his face hidden in shadow. Excuse me, he said in a low voice. Is this the train to the city? Olivia nodded quickly, her heart racing. Yes, she whispered. The man smiled, but it wasn't a friendly smile. There was something strange about it. Without another word, he walked past her and disappeared into the next carriage. Olivia sat down, her hands trembling. She tried to calm herself. Maybe he was just a normal passenger, but something felt wrong. A few minutes later, the train suddenly stopped. Olivia looked out of the window. They were in the middle of nowhere surrounded by dark woods. The train wasn't supposed to stop here. She heard a loud voice on the speaker. Attention, passengers. There's a problem with the train. We will be stopping here for a while. Olivia stood up again and went to the door of the carriage. She pushed it open and stepped out onto the empty platform. The air was cold and there was no one else around. She started to walk down the platform looking for someone, anyone, but the station was deserted. Her footsteps echoed in the stillness. Then she heard the sound of the train doors closing behind her. She spun around, but it was too late. The train started to move, leaving her behind. Wait, Olivia shouted, running after the train, but it was already too far. She was alone in the dark. A cold breeze blew through the trees, and Olivia felt someone watching her. She turned around slowly, and there, standing at the edge of the platform, was the man in the black coat. His hat was gone, and his face was now fully visible. His smile was wider this time, unnaturally wide. 